Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and in this lecture I am going to teach you remaining options of view menu. First is rulers. So what basic rulers are? So in order to learn rulers, what we need to do, we need to first come in view and here we have rulers. So what I do, I will go, I will hover on it and as you can see the now showing me all the options of rulers. So the first option is show rulers. So I will click on it as you can see that now I'm getting rulers getting so definitely these lines or definitely these are called rulers okay so let's suppose if you want to get rulers so what you need to do you need to come in view and definitely you can say rulers and here we have rulers so I don't want if I don't want rulers so what I do I will click on hide rulers and as you can see that now I don't have rulers anymore getting me so this is the work of rulers getting me and then what do we have next so we have hide bounding box so let's suppose if I take uh, if I take an object uh, and if I color it uh, red okay so if I zoom a little bit or uh, uh, as you can see that now I have this object so as you can see that uh, when I select this object so I'm getting this boundary box means around my uh, you can say my object I'm getting these options or these uh, handles getting me so let's suppose if I don't want so what I do I will go in view and I will click on uh, hide bounding box so if I click hide bounding box as you can see that now I'm selecting you know this object has been selected but despite of that you know I'm not getting handles getting me around this object so let's suppose if you want the handle again so you will go again and you will click on hide, uh, show hound, hind, uh, bounding box and as you can see that now I have bounding box so with the help of this bounding box what can I do what can I do I can just simply click and drag and I can change the width and height of my object or I can also rotate my object in any direction getting me so if I select this and if I click and drag uh, and and as you can see that now I'm rotating this object getting me so let's suppose if you want the bounding box means this handles around this box so what you need to do you need to go in view and you need to click on hide the show bounding box if you if you don't want click on hide bounding box then what do we have next we have show transparent grid so what I do I will click on it and as you can see that now if I zoom out a little bit so as you can see that now I have uh, you can say uh transparency grid okay transfer grid okay this i b because this all you can say uh, you can see my screen transparent getting me so if you want to get something like this what you need to do you need to go in view and you need to click on uh you can say uh, show transparency grid so definitely if i don't want so what i do i will click on hide transparent grid and you can see that now i'm getting normal page getting me so transparency grid will give you transparent screen then what do we have next we have hide definitely text and definitely live definitely live uh, pen definitely we have learned the option then what do we next we have guides so definitely we have learned that what basically rulers are but definitely rulers are not only useful for just these rulers okay we don't use ruler for just to uh, we don't do, we don't use rulers to to show just kind of these lines let's suppose if i take a selection tool and if i just simply click and drag so as you can see that now i'm getting line so i'm also i can also get the line as well getting me how can i get the line in order to get the line we need to go in view and uh, here we have to click on show uh, show uh, guides basically these are called guides not rulers okay so if i click on show as you can see that now it's showing all the guides all the guides getting me so guides are very useful why guides are very useful let's see if i go again if i uncheck lock so then i can move so for example if if i uh, for example if uh, if i want to create or if i want to make uh, you can say a logo okay and let's suppose if i have this okay so definitely these these guides are very useful for me because they are showing that okay navi this is your area navi this is your area and under this area you have to uh, you can say uh, create your logo getting me so definitely these guides are very useful getting me so let's suppose if i want to make something like this or if i want to keep my uh, you can say guides here so what i do i will just say take the selection tool and i will just simply click and drag and as you can see that now i am moving the, this guide getting me so guide are very useful okay these are just guides this will not come you know, these lines will not come in print but they are just for for your help getting me to show that okay this is your area getting me so this is the work of guide so if i go in view and uh, here we have the options of guides so if i want to hide i can also hide if i if i lock so definitely if i lock these guides so i will not be able to move any of the guides and if i want to clear means if i want to delete all the guides so what i do i will click on clear guides and as you can see that now i don't have any guides anymore and if i want to get again so what i do i will just simply click and drag and as you can see that now i'm getting line so for example if i click and drag click and click here getting me so that as you can see that now i have this box okay so inside of this box i can easily work getting me so this is the work of guide 
and if I if I won't do it, I will click on clear guys, and I don't have guys anymore. Then what do we have next? We have smart guy. So what what is the use of smart guy? Let's see. So if I zoom a little bit, and if I take another object, or okay, it's fine. And if I color it yellow, so as you can see that now I have two objects, and uh, I will zoom in a little bit. And I will take the selection tool, and if I click and drag, as you can see that now the lines are coming. Okay, if I, if I just click and drag, so as you can see that now showing the central point, the the uh, the central point of these two objects getting me. So as you can see that it is coming. You know the the lines are coming. You know it just you as you can see this line is coming. Okay, as you can see that it's line coming. Getting this uh, line is coming actually. Okay, so these are called a uh, smart guide because they guide you smartly. Getting me is showing that it, if you want. To align this object like this, so as, as you can see, that now we also we also showing green line. Getting me? Actually, these are not line. Actually, they they just show you the okay. This is central point. This is the pivot point, or you can say getting me. So these are very useful for alignment. Getting me? For example, if I if I keep my object here, as you can see, that now showing me. As you can see, that now the line is coming. Getting me? So it just showing this line. Okay. So if you want the line like this, so what you need to do, you need to go in view and you need to click on uh, check this smart guides. If you don't want, just simply click on uh, I, I click on the smart guides and they the uh, Illustrator will not give you smart guide. But smart guides are very useful. Okay. Then what do we have next? We have uh, perspective grid. Uh, actually, this is an option of a perspective grid. Uh, you can say tool. So if you if if you don't know what basically perspective grid tool is, so you should watch my video on perspective grid tool. Okay. So basically, uh, here we have the option of uh, perspective grid. Then what do we have next? We have show grid. So if I click on show grid, and if I zoom out a little bit, so as you can see, that now I'm getting grid, getting me this line. So let's suppose if you want to get this line, you need to cl simply click on uh, you can say show grid. But if I don't want, so what I do? I will click on hide grid, and as you can see, that now I don't have grid anymore. Grid I got this is boxes, and uh, if I on this, if I show this, and if I click on snap to grid, so what basically snap to grid is? So if I take any object, as you can see now, it's snapping. You know, it is stopping little bit. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You know, as you can see now, it's stopping. Get him. So basically, this is called snap to grid. As you can see that now, I'm not doing anything. I'm just moving, and as you can see, it's stopping little bit. As you can see, it's stucking or it's just stopping. So it's called snap. So let's suppose if you want to snap. So what you need to do, you need to you need to just simply click on snap to grid. And if uh, if I uncheck and if I move, as you can see that it's not moving. It's coming directly. Getting me? It's coming directly. So if you want to snap, just again click on uh, snap to grid. And now if I'm moving, as you can see that now it's coming a little bit. As you can see that now it's stopping a little bit. Again, it's snapping. It's, uh, it's, it's snapping to this grid. Uh, definitely snap to point. And then what do we have next? We have a new view. So let's suppose if you uh, if you select the if you select the area and if you give the name to this view, and if I click and uh, if I zoom out and if I click again if I click on this, as you can see now I'm getting this view. Getting so what I did first I went in view and uh, then I click on new view and I have to give the name to this view. So in order to give the name, first we have to select the area. Or first we have to select the view. For example, if I just want to see this view, if I want to just see this view. So what I do, I first select this object or this area, and then I will go in view, and here we have new view. So what I do, I will give the name here. So I will say Navid place, and after this, what I do, I will simply click on OK, and this is my view. So for example, if I zoom out, if I zoom out, and now if I if I just want to see my view, so what I do, I will go in view, and this time I will I will not use uh you can say zoom tool, and this time I will just simply click on Navid place definitely. And as you can see now, I'm getting this view. Getting me. So with the help of this, we can also give a, a view as well. Getting me. So in this lecture, we have learned the remaining options of view menu. I hope you've understood. For more videos, lecture, and exercises, come to my website www.navidplace.com. I love you, Fiamanla, and I will meet you in the next. Till then, Allah Hafiz.